All right, good stuff. Yes, it's me again. I'm back. All right, entrepreneurship one-on-one, you know, fundamentals of entrepreneurship, things that you need to know before you jump into this thing called entrepreneurship or things that you need to know why you're in this thing called entrepreneurship or things that you need to know of why you jump out of this thing called entrepreneurship. And what's really making me continue to do these videos is your feedback, the calls and the emails and the text messages and the DMs. Yes, I'm getting DM slides these days on how these videos are helping people in their business or in their journey of entrepreneurship. But before I get started, how about a word from our sponsors? Hey, what up? It's your boy ET Man. Though for real, I want to drop an authentic endorsement. I'm proud of him, and I'm telling y'all to get the book, not because he's my guy, but some of you are stuck, and he's not stuck. And so the way you get better is by getting information from people who have gone through, you know, the school of hard knocks. That's where he got a degree from the school of hard knocks. So dreams, y'all, are built overnight. Make sure you cop it. I got mine. The thing I love about this book, and I read it all the way through cover to cover, Practical Solutions for Entrepreneurs. If you want to get started, he teaches you how to get started with no money. All those excuses you got about how you can't start because you don't have enough money or nobody invested in you, he's going to teach you how to get past all of that. So dreams are built overnight. Um, classic book man go check it out let's get it, appreciate it. i'm gonna keep this one matter of fact. talk about it be about it thank you dr thomas i appreciate that sir so i'm not gonna be here long you know why because i have a cold okay i'm actually sick right now the other day my temperature was 103 but i was inspired because michael jordan played a championship game with the flu and i figure if michael jordan could play with the flu i know i can do this little video with like a little cold so i'm not gonna be extra today i don't have as much energy which leads me right into my point there's one thing i want to tell you guys about entrepreneurship don't do it just don't do it like don't do it don't don't do it like i don't i'm telling you don't do it here's why i'm so serious i know you're thinking oh he does the entrepreneurship videos and he helps entrepreneurs yes if you're already an entrepreneur great but for the people that are thinking about being an entrepreneur don't do it, run, run really, really far. Did you know that only about 7% of businesses actually succeed? Meaning 93% of all businesses fail. Okay, all right, 93% fail. I'm telling you, I went into the school the other day and I tried to talk to kids out of entrepreneurship. Out of 100 people watching this video, 100 entrepreneurs, do you know that 93 of you will fail? Yo, keep your job. I'm here to convince you to keep your job. Most businesses fail inside of two years. Most people keep a job longer than two years. Chances are better that you won't get fired from your job if you do your job than it is to run a successful business. I'm just here to tell you, entrepreneurship sucks. You ain't getting up, working 40 hours, you come home, you're tired, try entrepreneurship. I work between 16 and 18 hours a day. Probably why I'm sick today. Oh, did I fail to mention? As an entrepreneur, ain't no insurance. Make it that Obamacare. Oh, in the event that you make some money, all that Balling out what you're doing, when your taxes come back, you can forget all that. You are talking to your accountant to figure out how much money you don't have to pay. Oh, oh, you think it's a game. Do you realize only 39% of all businesses that get started even make a profit? That means above zero. 30% break even. 30% of all businesses that get started lose money. The 30% of businesses who break even, you might say, oh, that's great. At least I could break even. No, no, no. Because for every business that breaks even, there's an entrepreneur who can't pay his rent because he didn't make any money in the business. Oh, y'all think entrepreneurship is sweet. The 39% who actually make a profit, that doesn't mean that the profit takes care of that entrepreneur's bills. I'm here to tell you, your job ain't that bad. Oh, you want to be an entrepreneur because you don't want nobody to be your boss. You don't want nobody to give you no orders. You see, I'm grabbing stuff out of the air. That's how they do. Because you think that getting rid of your boss means ain't nobody going to tell you what to do. How about replacing the one boss with a hundred bosses called customers because your customers will run your life. You will do as they say. Bruh, ain't nothing wrong with getting a steady check. Nothing wrong with having a job. You have to be outside of your mind to want to be an entrepreneur. You still want to be an entrepreneur? You still want to be an entrepreneur? All the people who are smart enough to just keep the job, whatever business idea you were thinking about, you're like, yo, forget all that. I don't want to eat ramen noodles. I don't even like tuna like that. I eat tuna. I'll be eating tuna. For all the people that like going out to eat, knowing that they can spend some money now because they got a check coming up. The people that are smart enough to keep their job, the video's done. I'm done talking, okay? Cool, y'all can shut this off.
All right. Hey guys, we are here by ourselves. Entrepreneurs. Okay, cool, cool, cool. All right, so here's here's the deal. Here's why I would risk everything to become an entrepreneur and build something big. Becoming an entrepreneur is about time freedom, life freedom. The person you become through being an entrepreneur, problem solving. All we do is solve problems all day. Now, some people don't want to solve problems, and I ain't mad at you for not wanting to solve problems, but it's something that's being created inside of every entrepreneur with every trial they get over, with every hurdle they get over, with every giant they knock out. The trials and tribulations that we go through and get through every single day create something different inside of us. We understand purpose. We understand purpose. It's something so unexplainable about creating something and watching it grow. You're living life on your own terms, knowing that there is no limit, that there's nobody who can give you a raise but you. Knowing every single day you can pay yourself whatever amount of money that you want to make. It's up to you. You know that if you don't make a certain amount of money, it's because you didn't do what you were supposed to do. You didn't give it your all. We have an opportunity to create history. We have an opportunity to create a legacy, generational wealth. A job can't provide that. We have an opportunity to build something, right, and be able to tell our kids how we built it. We have the opportunity to leave our mark on the world. Martin Luther King, what would make him live such an uncomfortable life? Knowing that if he just settled and got a job and stopped doing everything he's doing, his life would no longer be in danger. He could just pastor and preach and give the good word, not ruffle anybody's feathers. It's something about entrepreneurship. It's something about building something, something that can't be torn down by anybody but you. Knowing that you're the only person holding you back. You're the only person stopping you. You're the only person that's restricting you from giving you a raise. You are the only person. It's something about it. I can't explain it to the people who have jobs, but to be able to build something something and say I built it and after it's built I can package it up and give it to my kids and that thing might run through an entire generation my bloodline everybody who has this blood can enjoy this thing my kids might be telling their kids he built this this is the main reason why you have what you have because generations ago there was someone who had the guts to do it like I'm trying to think in my head like the conversations that Harriet Tubman was having with the slaves saying yo we about to leave and some of the slaves is like no I'm good they treat us good here yo we could die we could lose everything and Harriet's like I'm good with that like I'm willing to risk that and I can imagine some other people she's having conversations with like yo I want to do this thing I want to be an entrepreneur I want to get off this plantation Harriet what we going to do Harriet like all right cool tonight it's going down they say yo I want my freedom 12 midnight she waking them up like yo it's time to go and they like yo we going now they like yo Harry I, I you know I don't know tonight come on Harriet Harriet like can we go Friday? She's like, nah, we gotta go right now. And I'm sure Harriet had the same conversation. It's going to get dangerous. It's a possibility that all of us get caught, get our feet chopped off, they lynch us, shoot us. I promise you all this could happen. Come on, it was some people Harriet talked to, like, yo, I ain't trying to go. Cool. You should stay here. List all the reasons and benefits why you should stay here. Living slavery is cool. I ain't mad at you. Enjoy that. That's not a bad life. What's worse is we could die. You right. It's risky. You right. We could lose everything. You right. But we still got to go for it because I got this dream. I got this vision of us being free where we can do whatever we want. Wake up when we want to wake up. We got these business. Like I can own a business. I can pick cotton, make the money, sell the cotton, and I can live the way I want to live. I got this vision. Like I I, I just gotta go, I gotta go do it. Harriet, entrepreneurship at its finest, that mindset. She was probably thinking I could leave a legacy for my kids. I can show people, listen, you can be free. I wanna do it, after I do it, I'm leaving a trail. I'm leaving markings on the tree saying, listen, this is the path that I took, you can do it too. Setting other people free. This is why this entrepreneurship thing is so deep, y'all. This is why I'm so passionate about it, because I know you can do it. I know you can do it, because I did it. I've seen people do it that are way dumber than you, that became very, very successful as an entrepreneur. I'm just saying, I know you can do it. So I go to the schools and I try to talk the kids out of entrepreneurship. I go through this whole scenario. Listen, all the reasons why you really need to get a job. Go to college, get a job, work there for 40 years. Look, you'll be good. I know what you're thinking. David, why are you trying to talk kids out of entrepreneurship and you're an entrepreneur? Good question. The ones that I can talk out of entrepreneurship, they'll eventually be heartbroken and entrepreneurship will hurt them. They're going to quit anyway. But the kids that I can't talk out of entrepreneurship, those are the ones I mentor.